It was an electric atmosphere at O'Shaughnessy Stadium Saturday as St. Thomas hosted its first national semifinal football game. Tommy fans were pumped. Oh yeah, are you kidding me? Our volleyball team already won championship and now our football team has to do that too? Yes. Yes! Like, more pumped than ever. Yeah. I believe today will be a very good game. No matter what the turnout, it will be a very good game. Wisconsin Oshkosh fans arrived with confidence. This is very exciting, the Final Four. We're one game away from Nationals. Yep, absolutely. We're going to Virginia next weekend for the Stag Bowl. One game away from the national championship, so here we come. The Tommies struck quickly, scoring 14 seconds into the game when cornerback Ryan Dietz forced a fumble and defensive lineman Ayo Idowu scooped and scored to make it 7-0. <laughs> Ryan Dietz, man, came and knocked that running back out and the ball's on the ground. And like in my mind, I'm thinking, same thing, same thing. Don't, don't be slow this time. <laughs> Everyone does their assignment. You don't try to be Hercules out there. Don't try to do someone else's job. You do your job, you fit your gap. And that's what we pride ourselves on, is being a team defense. On Oshkosh's next possession, St. Thomas blocked a punt that led to a six-yard touchdown pass from Matt O'Connell to the tight end, Logan Marks. The Tommies were up 14-0 just five minutes into the game. We thought we could take advantage of it. their young team, but uh, I'll tell you, their front, front seven on defense are phenomenal. Still in the first quarter, O'Connell scored in a one-yard run, making it 21-0. A lead one fan predicted before the game would be enough. The way St. Thomas is rolling, they're just going to you know, pound them. Their defense is unstoppable. Their offense you know, puts up 21 points, this game's over. In the second quarter, the Titans answered when quarterback Nate Wara completed a 77-yard TD pass to wide receiver Corey Whipperfirth. Still, Coach Crusoe was pleased to be up two scores at the half. I was terrified, even with the lead, because they do have such a powerful offense and a confidence not a cockiness, a confidence that they can come from behind as they've proven the last three weeks. Late in the third quarter, O'Connell rushed for a second touchdown to make it 28-7. But Oshkosh didn't give up, answering with its own TD, making it 28-14. The Tommies held their lead the rest of the game, punching their ticket to Salem, Virginia, to take on the University of Mount Union for the national championship next Friday night that unbelievable offense. You, you, you always know about their tailback, you always know about their quarterback, and, but this year I am just so impressed with their defense. Uh, What's your name? In St. Paul, I'm Jesse Kroll for TommyMedia.com.